so many times people ask, how is it possible to feel connection, to stay connected? And why do they ask this? Because like on a daily day basis, it's, it's hard. It's hard to connect. But then all of a sudden you get this like huge miracle that happens, something very, very big. And all of a sudden you're like, wow, I see God. Like I feel so connected. And then the question is, well, how do I maintain that connection? So in this week's parsha, we have Hashem coming to us and he says to us, It's the very, very famous concept of Hashem's asking us to build this tabernacle, this dwelling place where he's going to put his presence, but he doesn't say where I will put well, I will come and dwell there or inside of it. The Torah says, "Betocham inside of you, which means that in each and every one of us, we have the potential and we are vessels or tabernacles or housing places for holiness, for the divine presence. Our bodies hold and house our souls. Now, this idea of connecting which I said is very easy to do when you have this like miraculous or huge big event happening. So actually, the in the Mishkan, there were so many miracles about the Mishkan, about the tabernacle. There was miracles in the dimensions of how it was made and what fit inside of it. And there was miracles about the bread staying fresh. And also, in the Beis HaMikdash, in the Holy Temple, there was also tons of miracles. Again, about the bread being fresh, about the the the... Um, the fire that never went out, just tons and tons of miracles. And why was this? Because a person would come, says Rav Shlomo Man Zatzal, and he would come and he would see all these miracles and then he would remember, oh my gosh, yes, right, there's a God and this is amazing, look what he does. And I can connect this way. And the Torah is coming to teach us something fascinating. It says, the dwelling place is where? Is inside of you. Which if we take this concept of like, wow, I can really connect to Hashem when I'm seeing a miracle, when something big happens in my life then why don't we take it and also look inside ourselves and see what miracles we are, what's going on inside of our bodies. The miracle of being able to see and to, your eye to focus, that your, that your ear can hear sounds from far away, from close. The miracle of being able to talk, to have a vocal cords. The miracle of being able to breathe, take in oxygen and expel and exhale out the carbon dioxide. There are so many miracles that are happening every single breath that you take. And I feel like Hashem is coming to tell us, Look at yourself. Look at me inside of you and the godliness that you have and the miracle that is your body. He's asking us to do like a mind-body-soul connection of where we're supposed to build a mishkan, build a dwelling place, take care of yourself, be healthy, be strong, be fit, right? He's telling us, have lots of vessels, have things that you can use to serve me. The shulchan, the table, which had the bread, which you know, is the livelihood. It's the idea of taking something very physical and elevating it to something very, very spiritual. It's that each of the things that you're given, your skills, your talents, your your opportunities, these are all vessels in order to serve Hashem, in order to get close to Him, and also to find God there, to find Him inside of you, to take him wherever you go with him. Because also the Mishkan, the tabernacle, was something that wasn't steady. It wasn't something stable. They traveled with it. They stopped with it. They went with it. It was in the desert with them. And it was also in Eretz Israel with them. Hashem is with you no matter where you go, no matter what's going on in your life. He's with you. But you also have to take him with you. We have to go inside ourselves and use all the tools that we have, all the skills that we have, and find holiness in them and use them for holiness. And we also have to make ourselves these dwelling places where we can connect, where we see miracles, and where the divine presence rests upon us. With that, we're going to do a partial meditation. We're going to take a deep breath inside. And the best way to connect to all those miracles, I think, is by going through each part of the miraculous parts of your body and having gratitude towards them and really seeing the godliness inside of them. You can start with your mind, with your brain, with the idea that as you inhale, just think about how you're able to remember things and also the miracle of how you can forget. With each breath you take, the miraculous idea of breathing into your eyes and knowing that you can see things, knowing that the eyes open and shut, that there's tears, that you, can, that you have emotions that are expressed in the eyes, which are the windows to the soul. You're inhaling and exhaling, taking deep breaths, and putting gratitude and attention to your nose, to the fact that you can smell, 
discern things. The nose gives us also warning signals of something not going right, something's burning, danger, and also sweetness. The ears that hear, that can have understanding and discernment. We can go to the mouth, which can chew the teeth, the miracle of the saliva that breaks down food already from the very first steps, the miracle of the tongue, which can taste sweet, sour, bitter, and salty, the miracle of being able to swallow, being able to talk, taking a deep breath and just appreciating your body, that it's a dwelling place for your divine soul, taking a deep breath and acknowledging and putting just all the light inside your body as you inhale that ex. At oxygen, like I mentioned, you exhale the carbon dioxide. Taking deep breaths, tapping into the miracle of your heart, which pumps blood to every single part of your body. Not only does it pump it, but the, the blood returns back and gets reoxygenized. Having awareness go and gratitude into your arms that extend, that hug, the hands, the fingers that grasp, that can let go. Finding awareness and gratitude inside your stomach with all the internal organs in there, the digestive system. Each one is just absolutely miraculous. You have nine different organs that are part of this digestive system. We don't even think about it. We don't even tap into it. And there is Hashem. There is God. Into your pelvic region, the miracles of the potential or the actualization of having a child the miracles of the legs that walk and take you where you need to go, that can stand straight, that can bend, that you can sit, the miracles of a person who lies down and can come up, the miracles of every single one of your toes. If we take one deep breath and we just drop our shoulders and we drop every single muscle that we have and we relax our body and we make ourselves into this vessel of holiness, of light, a vessel of gratitude, a vessel of connection, and realizing that God is inside of each and every one of us. Again, no matter where you go, He's there. And that no matter what you're doing, you can tap into that potential and use it in such a holy and elevated way. Shabbat Shalom.